entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. strangers in town, and I wondered if you could tell me where the general store was. Oh, well, yes, it's right down the street. Much obliged. You planning to make your home in Diablos? We hope to. Oh, I'm John Boone. This is my son, Skipper. Boone? Yes, my father was Captain Boone. Perhaps you knew who he was. He was... I know who he was. Gee, Pop, what's wrong with her? Well, I... I don't know. Yeah. All ashore, Skipper. Hi, hi, Pop. Hello. Something for you, mister? I have a list right here. A list, eh? Say, that's a right nice order. You folks setting up housekeeping? <laughs> yes, we are. Well, I'm always glad to welcome new customers to town. <laughs> I'm Dan Pettigorn. Oh, I'm glad to know you. I'm John Boone. This is my son, Skipper. Boone? You ain't by chance any kin to old Captain Boone who died a few weeks back. Yes, he was my father. Oh. You got the cash to pay for this order? Well, of course we have. Better get the money in your hand, Dan. What's that supposed to mean? Guess what it sounds like. I hold little trust for anyone named Boone. Guess you don't know what happened around here, Admiral. I know exactly what happened. Say, your pa wasn't very well thought of here, and he died owing me a parcel of money. You'll get it. What are you going to pay it with? That pirate's gold the old captain was looking for? <laughs> Why, sure, Toby. He's going to get John Lafitte's ghost to lead him right to the spot. <laughs> sure, there ain't no more treasure around here in the Rizz Ocean. There is so. You just wait. Me and Pop will show you. Won't we, Pop? We'll show him, Skipper. You've been out in the sun too long, Admiral, just like your pa. Make you daffy, too? Ooh. Nothing I like better than a good fight, Admiral. Yes, thanks. You got no right to interfere, deputy. This here is John Boone. He had it coming. What are you trying to do? Kill him for something you think his father did? I don't reckon there's many hereabouts and much care if we did. The law would. Now get on about your business. All right, folks. Party's over. I'm off to Craig, Mr. Boone. This is Annie Oakley and Brother Tag. Hello. Hi. You must be Skipper. Yes, ma'am. We heard a lot about you from the captain. Me and him were good friends. I used to go with him and Mr. Scott and hunt for the treasure. Gosh. You did? Uh-huh. Gee, maybe Pop will let you help us. How about it, Pop? Well, I don't see why not. From the reception we got, I reckon we'll need some help. <laughs> Tag, why don't you get Pixie and take Skipper on out to the ranch? Sure, sis. Come on, Skipper. Is it okay, Pop? Shove off, Skipper. Well, the boy's gone. I suppose you want to ask some questions. There are a few things you should know. That is, if you plan on continuing the search for the treasure. There's one question I'd like to ask. Oh? That girl standing in front of the bank. Who is she? It's Kathleen Scott. 
Her father was the captain's partner. Oh. Is she running the bank now? Ever since her father died. I see. The truth is, Mr. Boone, that no one in town believes there is a treasure. They think Kathleen's father died in vain. But how can they blame the captain? He died on the search, too. Well, most of the folks around here thought the captain was crazy because of his stories about the pirate treasure. I mean, Mr. Scott grubstaked him and went along on the search. Well, they thought he was being taken. They resented it. And of course, you know what happened on the trail. They got caught in a dust storm and both died. The captain was a stranger to most people around here. Mr. Scott, well, he was a friend. I guess they had to blame somebody for his death. So they picked on the captain. An old man who'd never hurt anyone in all his life. And they called him crazy. I know they were wrong, but well, that's about it. I'm going to prove them wrong, Annie. Well, if it's any help to you, John, we're on your side. Thanks. Did you know my father kept a journal of the progress of the search? Yes, but it was never found. It was probably lost in the dust storm. If that treasure is around here, well, it's just a matter of patience and time. A seafaring man learns patience. It's the time I'm worried about. What do you mean? I suppose you know the captain had the ranch mortgaged to the bank. Yes, we did. Well, the last extension is due in two months, and the way Miss Scott feels, it uh, doesn't look like I stand a chance for another one. <laughs> two months to find a treasure that's been buried over 60 years. We'll be looking for real treasure. Yeah. Let's go in. Okay. This is a swell house, isn't it? Yeah. Just about everything the captain ever owned is in here. Say, how'd he ever find out about that treasure anyhow? My pop says it was when he was skipper of his own ship. Gee. That pirate, you know, Jean Lafitte, is he really the one that buried it? Sure. He and his men got chased to around here somewhere, but they never were caught. Nobody ever knew what happened to them. Indians, probably. I guess so. Anyway, all I know is that treasure's buried around here somewhere, and you and I are going to help my pop find it. Right? Shake. Go buy yourself something good. Thanks a lot, Pop. How's it going, Admiral? Sun getting to you yet? Easy, John. Let him talk. Sure don't see any gold pouring out of that wagon of yours. Maybe you ought to have a talk with some ghosts. Maybe they can tell you where that treasure is. Maybe I'll do that. Wouldn't surprise me a bit. You going in the bank? Think it'll do me any good? No harm in trying. Would you like some company? I'd love it. I'm amazed you even had the nerve to ask for an extension on your loan. The answer is no, definitely. Well, all I need is a little time, Miss Scott. That's what your father said, and my father believed him. Am I supposed to make the same mistake? Kathy, you're being unreasonable. I'm sorry, Annie. There are people in this area who need a loan badly. For a much more sound reason. Ranchers need the time to sink wills. Farmers need time to bring in good crop. If I grant any extensions, it will be to people looking for food and water, not pirate treasure. But Kathy, that's exactly the reason your father joined Captain Boone on the search, so he could use his share of the treasure to help the ranchers. 
And I was against it from the very beginning. But Father had a dream. And Captain Boone took advantage of it to get him out on some wild goose chase. The Captain was going to put most of his share in that dream, too. That's what he said. But it was just so he could continue his ridiculous search for a treasure that doesn't exist. It does exist, and I'm going to prove it. Mr. Boone, I'll expect full payment on your loan in two weeks. You know, Kathleen, I think you've forgotten something. What's that, Annie? John lost his father, too. Yes, look down there. Gosh, what is it? I don't know, ladies, but I'm sure going to find out. Gosh, Pop, that's awful steep. Don't worry, I've still got my sea legs. to get somebody. We can't just leave him there. Well, uh, help me unhitch one of the horses. You stay here and I'll ride to town. Hold the horse. He hasn't moved at all. Maybe he's dead. Easy, Skipper. We'll do all we can. Tag, you work target. I'll go down on the rope. Work him slowly and carefully, Tag. Okay, sis. Sure wish Lofty was here instead of serving papers in Diablo Junction. Help yourself a little bit? I guess so. Here, let me put this rope around you. Come on. Easy now. Wait a minute. All right, Tag, take him up easy. Back up some more, Tiger. Back up. Easy, Tag. Come on, Tiger. Come on. He'll be all right, Skipper. We just have to get him to a doctor. Annie, we've got to get that saddle back. Maybe the captain's. Of course, Annie. You're not thinking of going down there again, are you? Maybe I won't have to, Tag. You boys can go down the road and pick it up after you help me get John into the wagon. All right, sis. 
Served him right, if you ask me. Running around looking for pirate treasure. <laughs> I didn't hear anybody ask you, Sloan. He's touched, just like his old man. Do you actually believe that treasure exists, Lofty? I believe the man deserves a chance, Miss Scott. All right, go on. Break it up. Leave him alone. Why? So he can talk to himself? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you get an honest job, Toby, instead of trying to be a comedian? I think it's funny. Pirate treasure. Why, there's no more... We found it. The captain and Mr. Scott found the treasure in a cave in Toluca Canyon. I, I don't believe it. Let me see that. It says right here in the book. That's enough, Tag. We better read this inside. Yo, ho, I've heard enough. Toluca Canyon. The way I see it, the treasure belongs to whoever finds it first. Get Come on, it. boys. Well, come on, Toby. The mother's gonna beat us to it. Relax. That canyon's full of dead ends. That treasure could be any place. Yeah, but we ain't gonna find it standing here. Oakley and that sailor know what's in the journal. The rest of them don't. We'll follow them and they'll lead us right to it. Read it, Annie. We'll still have the jump in the others. The search for Lafitte's treasure came to an end today. We located the chest in a cave at the southern end of the canyon. This next entry came later. The dust and wind have been increasing steadily. Scott fell, broke his ankle. I cannot leave him alone. We're going to try to make it to town. Scott, now in great pain, must get him to town. Wind getting stronger. That's the last entry. We know the rest. Annie, Mr. Boone, I wish there was more I could say. I'm sorry. Well, what are we waiting for? We've got a treasure to search for. Let's get started. at this end of the canyon. Be in any one of them. We'd better split up. I'll take the boys with me. It's a good idea. Lockie and I'll ride south through the canyon, and you go on ahead. Well, if you're running into any trouble, fire two shots. That'll be the signal. All right. Yeah. of a sailor. You'll make a good lookout. All right, mateys. Follow me. Let's go. Watch your step and stay close to me. the finding, then we'll take over. What? What happened? Here, hold this. Stand still. I'll have a bit in a jiffy. Breeze must have blown it out. That couldn't happen unless... Hey, what is it, Mr. Boone? It's a tunnel. Must lead to another part of the cave. Stay close behind me. All right. Look. We found it. Real pirate treasure. Holy Toledo. Come on, Skipper. Maybe we'll find some more. Yeah.
Save the celebration. Let's get this outside. We'll take the wagon in front. What about those kids? Forget them. Come on, help me with this. They're stealing the treasure. What are we going to do? You stay and help your dad. I'll follow them. But, hey! Someone hit me over the head, and they took Tag. Tag? Why? We found the treasure. They took it in the wagon. The treasure isn't important. You've got to save Tag. Did you see who it was? No, I didn't. I did. It was those two fellows from town. Hey, Annie. Look. A gold coin. Yeah. Here's another one. Another one. Lofty Tag's left us a trail. Yeah, a golden trail. Shots lost your tags in that wagon. in the captain's journal. When two sailors like us team up, we're unbeatable. Hey, eh, Pop? <laughs> Hi, Skipper. I wish there was something I could say, Mr. Boone, but I'm afraid you don't desire to talk to me now, and frankly, I don't blame you. On the contrary. John has many things he wants to talk to you about. Like another partnership, maybe? Partnership? I don't understand. Well, your father and mine had a dream, Miss Scott. There's no reason why you and I can't make it come true. After the way I treated you, I... Oh, that's in the past. With the treasure, we can do all the things our fathers wanted to do. Help the farmers, the ranchers, everything. Is it a deal? It's a deal. <laughs> I can't thank you two enough. Without your faith and support, I, I'm afraid I would have shoved off a long time ago. We were glad to help, John. Hey, Pop! 
Can we have a quarter for some ice cream? We sure could stand some refreshing. <laughs> Aye, right, Skipper. We, uh, uh, oh, I, I'm sorry, Skipper, I can't. Believe it or not, I'm broke. <laughs> I'm the poorest rich man you ever saw. <laughs>